Hello, hello, dears, and welcome, welcome to Alicante Beach Walk. Today's video is starting right at the beach of Postiget, an incredible place which is very busy in summer but this is how it looks like in a winter months even though it's winter it's around 21 22 degrees today it's a lovely gorgeous weather and let's explore everything this area has to offer alicante is situated around 25 30 minutes by car from benidorm town our favorite touristic town of all however you can also comfortably come here with a tram service from Benidorm. Overall, Alicante is connected with Benidorm, all the coastal area in general from Alicante to Denia. It's connected by the tram, so you can travel comfortably and discover all these areas. Alicante has a population of around 40,000 people and it's touristic whole year long since it's the capital of our province of Alicante. There's a lot of interesting things to see here. Obviously, the beach is one of the main attraction points. And also, you have all this lovely promenade where you could walk and the famous castle of Santa Barbara. By the way, even if you come here with children, you can explore and then children can play right here at the beach of Alicante since there's a lot of different playgrounds for all different kinds of ages. Towards our right side, right near these buildings, you can see a tiny bit of the castle of Santa Barbara. Very recommended to go. You can go there by stairs or there is an elevator. Elevator is a paid service, but if you have mobility issues, this might be a good option for you to get up until the top point of the castle from there you can see gorgeous views incredible views of the whole entire alicante and a lot of other surrounding areas even benidorm can be seen from there high up right here by the beach we have the lifeguard guard service as a emergency help center and there's a lot of nice teeny tiny cafeteria slash bars situated right here on the promenade they tend to get, get quite busy even though prices are um, slightly expensive but what you pay is for the views basically there's coffee there's drinks there's some snacks even meals and coffee in these types of places right here at the most touristic side of alicante will cost you around two and a half starting from there two and a half three four euros maybe four fifty depending on which type of coffee it is and if it includes um some extra drinks to it like alcohol drinks like brandy for example inside baileys or if it's a fancy type of coffee with caramel drizzles and much much more so prices are really different but if in the city center or somewhere you could potentially get a coffee for 1 euro 50 maybe even 1 euro at some places still so here uh, it will be a double of a price slightly more expensive but that's only because tourists visit this area and there's not a lot of space in these bars in these cafeterias so it's quite a popular place where to go right next to the beach of postiget there's a lot of different accommodation options by the way the elevator towards the castle of santa barbara is situated towards our right side right in front of the beach that's official entrance with a long tunnel uh, bear that in mind if you're claustrophobic if you don't like closed spaces maybe that's not gonna be good for you because that's a very long closed tunnel and at the end of this tunnel what you have is an elevator there is no open windows there is no panoramic view nothing like this you just get into the elevator and you get out directly in the castle already so bear that in mind if you decide to take it in summer there's usually quite a lot of queues to take the elevator as well right here by the beach by the beach of Postiget, there's a lot of accommodation options as we've mentioned already there are some nice options inside of the old town of alicante which is towards our ride right across the road 
lovely apartments, gorgeous attics, very nice places. Uh, you need to take into consideration that in these places it's going to be quite, um, quite a lot of noise. So be prepared for it. If not, you can grab, for example, an accommodation in Melia Alicante or some hotel situated right here on the front line of the beach. And then you have a lot of other hotel options right in front of us by the Explanada and the city center of Alicante, as well as hostels, uh, apart hotels, and simply apartments that are rented out by their owners. And look at this. Even now in February, there is no major celebrations any longer for quite some time. So even now, look at the amount of people that you can actually see here by the beach. There's a lot of tourists. The vast majority of these people are actually tourists. And as you can see here, there is a lot of space for children to play as well. If you're coming with children or grandchildren, there's some nice places to sit down in the cafeteria to grab some drink and snack. And there are also places that are called kiosco or prensa, which is like press these teeny tiny houses that's the second one already here on the beach that you see right in front and this is where you can get some newspapers magazines you can grab some bottle of water and they also sell some extra things for the beach as they usually do and for example the beach towel like a long bigger size beach towel will cost you around 10 euros you can even see probably the prices from here and you can get some sun hats maybe sunscreen in summer etc here right by the port right by the ocean race sign that you see right in front of us and there is the castle gorgeous castle of santa barbara incredible place to be right really really recommended to a visit right by the ocean race sign there is a bus stop and this is where one of these stops where the bus that goes directly to alicante airport will be stopping there's a lot of different uh, stops of it. There's also one by the train station. There's one in the main avenue where the tram actually stops. So check out the bus stops, but it's a comfortable service to get to the Alicante airport in no time. And it goes every single hour. It looks like a typical town city bus because it actually is. And that's an alternative if you decide to spend here some hours or maybe a couple of days and then go directly towards the Alicante airport from here. In front, we have the gorgeous, popular place, well known in a lot of countries, Explanada de Alicante, that features some old, typical style, classic style buildings incredible part of history of our loveliest town of all in front we have the tourism information office this is where you can get some pamphlets some flyers you can ask for the information if you need something specific to know probably they will be able to help you out right next to it there is the casino in the port of alicante there is some nice chill out style bars and lounges and obviously all this part of the explanada that we see right in front of us, all this has been changed. All this road has been refurbished. It's now on the level, it's brand new. There's even more palm trees right now and more green areas. And it's full of restaurants, bars, and cafeterias. This is where a lot of people, mostly tourists once again, are coming to have some lovely meal or snack. And all this part, right by the port of Benidorm, all this part is brand new. Before, it was way different. There were only a few people walking here. It was not really comfortable, but now it was dirty, but now it's incredible. And as I can see, they've put an in information stands, probably the ones that we see right in front. Ooh, about a wine history in Alicante. This is where, by the way, you can also get the panoramic boats and excursion boats. This one right here is a panoramic boat trip. Special trip, five euros, two adults plus one child free of charge if it's less than four years old or four years old. And they have specific timetables in summer and in winter. Right now it's not available, but probably it's because it's away. And when it will come back, every hour more or less, I suppose they're going 
you will be able to take it five euros for a ride that's actually a very very nice price for a boat trip probably it's not going to be very long it's just a bay of alicante but still you can see some nice lovely views and enjoy the sightseeing this is absolutely not the only one of the boats and excursions that you can get from here here is where you can also get some boats towards the island of tabarca great place we enjoyed it some people don't like it but the vast majority actually do it's a very small island there's a lot of bars there's teeny tiny old streets with restaurants there is a like a lighthouse at the end it's all nature it's all to disconnect to enjoy the day to eat some nice food fresh fish or seafood in a typical spanish restaurant and just enjoy the beach enjoy the day out this is what it is for the views are gorgeous by the way that island is very very good for snorkeling so if you are a fan that's where i would recommend you potentially to go because there is way more marine life out there because you're in the middle of the mediterranean sea and not by the seashore of the big city like alicante can be so definitely definitely recommend it and there's some more boats that are going around alicante there's one that's going probably to benidorm or even calpe so in summer it's gonna be full of uh, boats this is the explanada this is a brand new street and the crossroad as you can see the brand new zebra and all this part has been changed they're also making some water fountain right there in front of us where we've just been so definitely definitely once the end touches are installed it's going to be even better place both for tourists and locals and as you can see this reminds me of an exposition that we've had not so long ago in benidorm right at the triangular square where the techno hit is located we've had this exposition of the wine culture and wine history of our region so i'm wondering right now it looks kind of similar i'm wondering if it's the same one that they've just brought here now or if it's slightly different but it actually tells you the history of the wine and the denomination of origin of the wines in alicante how the industry went from basic one through different struggles towards what it is nowadays let's continue our walk down the area by the way right there on the explanada you see the teeny tiny white houses this is the market this is like crafts market handmade and souvenir market in alicante we have a full video of this area of la explanada here on the channel if you want you can check it out just put benidorm by ana alicante and it will show you a lot of our videos and just click on the one that shows you explanada and that shows you the white castles with the market this is what the picture looks like this one in the screen so you could just check it out comfortably and you will be able to discover which kind of products uh, which kind of souvenirs and what they actually sell here on the market to be completely honest with you when i was still living in germany i did come here on holidays and i bought a nice accessory like a jewelry of a kind with a natural stone like a bracelet right here on the market and i still have it so they might have pretty good quality after 11 years of having it some more wine barrels out here i actually love it this is a nice style it's great that the town hall decided to use this space for something extra to give some nice information see there's all these boats of submarine vision etc right now it's not as common because it's outside of a summer season but shortly in just one month's time it will all start back over again by the way from here you can also rent private boats if you want to go fishing if you want to go like with a jet boat if you want to go uh, somewhere just spend a day outside maybe some picnic or lunch or dinner on the boat just grab a boat to swim somewhere go snorkeling etc this is where you could also be able to take them out from right now it says it's closed see tabarka excursion the speedboat 
this is the speed boat as well this is where it's gonna be summer season usually is when the vast majority of marine excursions are happening why because in winter it tends to be quite windy it's stormy and um, the water is cold obviously <laughs> so which is why in winter not always you can find some excursions but in summer every single day various times a day all this part oh c6 see this is the bus that goes directly to the alicante airport as you could have seen blue bus uh, number c6 this is the one that will bring you to the alicante airport directly all this side as we've mentioned already is brand new you can go walking comfortably there's a lot of restaurants cafeterias and bars right on our right side by the explanada of alicante the city center is nearby all the hotels all the accommodation options there's parking spaces here too just in case you're coming with your own vehicle and you can also rent bicycles or different types of scooters, mobility scooters, if you want to comfortably move around the town. By the way, there is a brand new bicycle trail at the Explanada of Alicante, so it will be even more comfortable to move around. And if you do have children, right here at the end of the walking promenade, we have a children's park it's not always open but during the summer season it is and there are some nice attractions for smaller children to enjoy their time while adults relax a tiny bit and think of the next adventure for them this is how the park looks like they keep updating it every now and then so usually it's open usually there's even a bar right there in front of us and it's a fun place especially for smaller children the beach of alicante has a lot to offer as you can see this is a lovely brand refurbished renewed rebuilt recreated call it how you want to call it but alicante right now is a very nice place where to spend a day in and both the beach and all the port walking promenade by the water are looking stunning could have seen it with your own eyes so it's just a pleasant lovely walk especially now when it's not too hot if you love exploring we would definitely recommend you to come to alicante to spend at least half of the day you can visit the santa barbara's castle and then have a lovely walk and enjoy some nice meal drinks or snacks by the way if you don't have a rented vehicle the easiest way is to take the tram from benidorm to alicante we actually had a video full video for you guys how to do it so make sure to check it out don't be afraid to experiment and grab some public transport because it's comfortable it's not too fast but you have some lovely views from it and it's way cheaper than it used to be and you wouldn't miss such an incredible place as Alicante is thank you for accompanying us on today's short walking tour down Alicante Beach and the brand new walking promenade and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow Bye, Tease.